anyway, anyway, happy Wednesday. Uh, also known as Hump Day. Speaking of which, Stormy Daniels. <laughs> Daniels, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Daniels is trying to get out of an NDA she signed with Trump, but she must be confident because she already sat down with Anderson Cooper for a 60 Minutes interview, and the nasty rumors about what she told him are already flying. One journalist has heard that Daniels suggests that Trump likes it when women aren't nice to him, treat him in perhaps denigrating ways. Well, I knew Trump was a bad president, but I didn't know Trump was a bad president. <laughs> You know, I, I fired Rex Tillerson with a tweet. <laughs> what are you gonna do to me? <laughs> I'd watch that. I'd watch that. And this could be especially damaging if it lends credence to the possible existence of the so-called PP tape. And there's been plenty of hints out there. I mean, just look at this actual mattress ad he made a few years ago. So what do you think of my Trump home mattress collection by Serta? Finally, the same luxury and comfort I demand in my hotels. I think you're gonna have hookers pee on it. Listen, why don't you come work for me? We're gonna need a tougher mattress. And, hey, hey, they make a fine bed. They make a fine bed. I, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe, believe you. I can't, I can't believe you just found that footage today. <laughs> We've been wanting to make that joke for a year. And hey, there's more turnover at the White House. In addition to Rex Tillerson, Gary Cohn, and Hope Hicks, we also learned that Trump's personal assistant was just fired, although he was actually escorted from the White House on Monday. I assume he wanted to beat the rush. <laughs> the assistant's name was John McEntee. Now, I'm not sure how McEntee lasted this long, possibly because Trump thought he was an item on the McDonald's dollar menu. <laughs> uh, I'll take four McEntees with extra cheese. And, uh, you know what, give me a couple of those McMasters while you're at it. <laughs> now, details are still coming in, but apparently McEntee was fired because he is currently under investigation by the Department of Homeland Security for serious financial crimes. And that's Jared Kushner's job. <laughs> McEntee wasn't allowed much dignity on the way out either. He was removed from the White House without being allowed to collect his belongings and left without his jacket. Although, it's still better than when they made Sean Spicer leave completely naked. <laughs> so, oh, he looks good. He wow. looks good. He looks really good. <laughs> so, Trump, Trump is now without a personal assistant, but he's already had one qualified applicant apply for the job, Tex Rillerson. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Paul Giamatti is here. Right over there. But when we return, I get some much-needed therapy. Do stick around.